Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to our presentation uh, here at the Pimps booth uh, of uh, Tixel and uh, CubeTech about our um, project uh, implementing a globally accessible uh, Pimps based uh, QC and repair service. My name is Lars First, and I'm uh, representing Tixel in this project. So, what you can expect from today's presentation, um, I will give a short overview of um, both companies' background especially um, the efforts and achievements uh, within uh, FIMS. And um, we will also give a short overview uh, of um, FIMS and especially the what kind of opportunities and um, um, it FIMS provides for vendors and users. So the background, uh, CubeTech and Tixel are um, First members of the early days of, of FIMS, um, both companies are located in uh, Germany and in a very close proximity. So it was kind of obvious that we uh, start a joint process a project to uh, combine our efforts. So what is the status quo? So CubeTech on the one side uh, offers management and uh, orchestration systems, especially uh, QC components. Tixel uh, on the other side offers file transfer solutions and. Um, uh, gateway acceleration uh, software. Um, both companies have in common that we, uh, both our pro products are already service-based, uh, follow a service-based uh, design, which is good. But what are the issues? Um, CubeTech has global, global customers using their um, uh, cloud-based uh, repair services, but they don't offer any um, mechanism to uh, accelerate the file transfer to the cloud platforms. On the other side, Tixel offers uh, file transfer acceleration solutions, but they don't actually offer any domain-specific UIs or services. So what is the obvious thing? Um, we just combine both solutions to provide a, to provide a, a solution for end users, uh, which uh, offers a minimum of uh, workflow disruption. So how does this service look like? We have a central resource, and it's accessed from multiple user PCs over a, um, internet connection. In more de detailed view uh, shows the, the system. Uh, on the one side, the user PC, uh, we have a standard web browser, um, as well as uh, Tixel's file transfer acceleration component. Uh, on the other side, in the back end, uh, we have a web application uh, with a workflow orchestration system and uh, CubeTech's MXF legalizer, which offers FIMS compliant um, interfaces, as well as uh, Tixel's file transfer acceleration. The data, the communication pass is all done over the web browser. Um, the actual data pass is triggered from the workflow orchestration system over our file transfer over secured pass, which is outside the communication pass. So this gives us the opportunity to um, offer uh, certified solutions and use, for example, uh, this QC uh, service for evaluation purposes and um, provide a yeah, certified package for, for end users. So what are Tixel's part in this, in this project? Uh, as you may know, and like in all industry, especially in media, the amount of data has grown dramatically over the, over the past years. Nowadays, 30 minutes of content could easily exceed two terabytes or more. Especially in an industry where the workflow is highly distributed and uh, different workflow processes are done in different locations. The need of transferring files between locations comes more and more to a bottleneck. And this transfer time could even exceed the actual processing time. So this is where Tixel provides solutions to minimize these kind of uh, processing time by minimizing the transfer between the both steps to accelerate the entire workflow. So how does uh, FIMS comes in play. FIMS offers us as Tixel the opportunity to offer our transfer service over a compliant standard interface. Uh, on the one side we see a traditional uh, FTP based transfer which is wrapped within a Tix in within a, a FIMS transfer service interface. This interface looks like exactly the same like our FIMS service adapter. Um, so it makes it interchangeable for end users. So the client code doesn't have to change anything on this side because it looks the same, but underneath we can use a more high, high sophisticated transfer uh, mechanism like uh, Tixel's Tixstream transfers. Uh, 